This conference will now be recorded. So uh, we'll be starting on the auth center configuration. So the topics that we are going to cover there, we will see what center category creation, how the screen control happens, how to do the screen control. Then we will see field selection control. Okay. Then uh, default work center. What is default work center? How to define the default work center? We will see this during the normal uh, uh, class. We discuss this, but today we will see how to how to configure this. Then we will discuss control key. What is control key and how this control key is configured? And then we will see the configuration of the formulas. Today we will I will show you how to configure a formula. Okay. So these are the topics we'll be covering in the work center. Okay, so basically in the work center configuration, the main main configuration is work center category. So we, if at all if required, we need to configure a new work center category and this work center category uh, category controls. Screen sequence control and field selection control. We will discuss this too in detail. Today. In detail today on top of that we will be we will be configuring a default work center a dummy work center and some other configuration standard value key we discussed the standard value key uh, in our in our normal class okay but we will see all this configuration today okay so first we'll start with the work center category okay so work center category means let me go to the system. <laughs> okay, let me log in now. Okay. So first in one session, I will open SPR. Okay, SAP reference IMG. Okay, scroll down, go to go to production. Okay, so here basic data. If you open this, yesterday we covered bill of material. So today we are covering work set. So if you open this, here you will do all the configuration related to work set. So first we'll start with the work center category. So let me open one more station. Okay, so normally when we create work center, if you recollect our normal classes, CR01, create work center. Okay, so what we what we did here, we en we entered the plant, and we entered the work center. Suppose let's let, let me enter test. Okay. After this, see we entered the work center category. So without work center category, if I try to, without entering the work center category, if I try to continue, see system is throwing it. So to create a work center, work center category is mandated. So now if you if you click on the list, we have some categories here. You see, you have machine, labor, plan maintenance, and some other categories. We we used in our in our regular class, we used machine category machine. So this category, machine work center category, controls a lot of functions. So it will control these ones. Huh? So basically, the work center category controls in which task list application that work center has to be used. Screen sequence control. I'll explain all these things. I'll show it in the system. Field selection control. And it will control setting up a default work center and some other ones. Some other ones okay so now we will see where this work center category is ultimately defined okay so now let's go to config so so we have these work center categories so these work center categories are defined here so let me go to config so in the configuration you see here work center open the general data node here you see define work center category so this is the place where you define the work center category if you go there if you click on the list if you click on that see these are the categories this is the category code and its description so this is the list we are getting over there 
okay and every category work center category is assigned with a field selection control and a screen sequence control we will discuss this too. so now before that for work center category if you select this on the left side there is a folder application if you click on that folder application you see here you have the task list applications this is we are we are discussing this one first one task list application that means the work centers which are created with this category can be entered only in this task list you know by you know by this time that what is task list task list is nothing but like routing we discussed routing correct routing okay and uh, uh, some other task lists are there we discussed this so the meaning here is the work centers which are created with this category you can enter only in this task list like routings maintenance task list recipes we we'll discuss this recipe uh, when we go to the uh, process manufacturing so it can be entered only in this task list in other task list each system will not allow you to enter suppose what i will do let's create a new work center category let me go back okay let me create a new one what i will do i'll select the existing one i'll copy copy as okay i'll put it as zs01 okay so i'll give the description as machine underscore new okay so i'm creating a new work center category enter it says copy all copy all or only copy enter let me put copy on it's okay now if i select this if you go to applications so what i will do i want the work centers created with this category has to be on, entered only in the routings okay so what i will do i'll delete the remaining ones. okay then enter save it it's okay so that means the work centers created with this category can be entered only in the routings not in the others so this is the application this is the application okay so this is a first this is how you create a configuration okay work center category now we will talk about first field selection and then we will go to the screen sequence control okay so next one is here you see define field selection okay suppose if you go here here you have the field selection field selection means suppose let me continue with this work center creation okay 